We just built a bunch of Minecraft universities, but this is a Christian server, so the college parties here are going to be kind of boring. Hey guys, welcome back to Kingdom Craft, where we build big churches in Minecraft while we talk about Christianity. I'm right now in the Catholic city, Manplatten, and this church, the Great Cathedral of Manplatten, was just finished, and it is absolutely amazing. And all of this is built in survival, and I did not build any of this. I could never build this good. But today, I'm not going to be talking about churches. I'm going to be talking about the universities that people built. I had several of the towns on this server build a university affiliated with their own denomination. So first, I'm going to be showing you guys the Catholic University in this Catholic town, Manplatten. And there's several ones, and maybe I'll do a sequel if more universities get built. But I thought this is a way to show how we build the kingdom of God in real life. Historically, the church has built universities for the glory of God. You know, Harvard, Princeton, Oxford, these were all started by the church. And it was a way that the church proclaimed the kingdom of God and glorified God by having places for people to learn stuff. And I think it's important to reverse the stereotype that Christians are anti-intellectual because it was Christianity that started the academic and scientific worlds as we know it today. So, these colleges, while they might not be the most entertaining when it comes to parties, you know, these college parties probably gonna probably are going to have uh, coolers of water bottles. Maybe when it gets really late and crazy, they're going to bring out the orange juice. But they should be places of great learning. So this cathedral, sorry, not, not a cathedral, this university is Manplatten University. And, oh, they welcomed me. I'm, I'm happy. So I'm going to say, thanks for welcoming me, guys. So yeah, I am going to be evaluating all of these universities, and I guess this is Manplatten University. So what's this? This is a nice bell, I guess it's just a... Does this ring? Can I ring this? Is there lag, or is, does this bell not work, or am I, am I being stupid again? I always forget how Minecraft things... Are. Okay, yes, there was lag, I wasn't stupid. Okay, yes, I can ring the bell. Alright, here's a nice fountain, really nice, uh... I think some signs got erased because I tried to update the server and failed. Okay, this, this okay, this is econ. I guess this is actually a class. They have a nice nether portal. This is where the Mormons go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I had to make that joke. That th This is a common joke on this server. And yeah, this is Manplatten University. Let's check it out. Okay, um, the walls are a little plain, especially for a Catholic place. The Catholics always make fun of Protestants for having plain walls in their churches. But these books are really nice. I probably can't read them. They're probably all in Latin or something. Uh, if you speak Latin at a Catholic church, they'll think you're a priest. If you speak Latin at a Reformed church, they'll think you're really smart. If you speak Latin at a Pentecostal church, they'll think you're possessed. I, I had to make that joke. I made it on Instagram. Um, okay, this is St. Eustace. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Chat okay, here's a chapel at Manplatten University. Uh, very beautiful chapel, but again, these plain white walls make it look Protestant. Or make it look like Catholics always say Protestants look like. Okay, nice, nice bench. Um, they had a bench made of campfires. Okay, that, that's, that's interesting. I guess this is a nice way to make a bench, though. I've never seen that design. Okay, this is Pugi the Iron Golem. St. Thomas Aquinas University Library. Now we're talking. Here is a nice library. This place definitely gets points for naming their library after St. Thomas Aquinas. I guess these are the librarians. Okay, someone set off a... F oh, is that a firework or is someone flying an Elytra? Okay, and what is this building? This is the Hungarus Fris... Is this Latin? I, I don't speak that. I'm American. I only speak American. Okay, this is the dining hall. Nice dining hall. It'd be nicer if it had a roof, honestly. I I'm just acting like a food critic here. I love all these universities. I'm just finding anything... I can to critique because that's what I do with denominations and it gets people mad. Um, no. I'm gonna try and not be a, a muckraker over here. Okay, finally, here's a, a painting on the wall. Th this looks more Catholic now. Okay, uh, is this a sink or a water fountain? I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, some more paintings, nice. And where, do, where does this go? I have not really explored these places before. I've popped my head in. Okay, more, more paintings. It'd be nice to know what these books are about, though, because for all I know, this could be uh, this could be white fragility in the library. <laughs> I know it's not, but you know it, it's not labeled, so I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, but this this building is really cool. I, I like the the colors. Okay, they have candles everywhere. Now it looks more Catholic. This is history and geography, and I guess this is a historian. Uh, oh, th this villager is named Hannah Whatnot. I know she's she's one of the people who helped build this. Uh, she's also a mod on this server, so 
I guess she named a villager after herself. Okay, this is a chemistry class. Can I be Walter White and cook some, instead of cooking meth, I'll cook, uh, some, cook up some Methodists, a batch of Methodists. Anyway, this place looks pretty cool. Um, I haven't really explored much of this. I, I, I think I've explored all of it, but I haven't explored much of it before. So there might have been a place that I missed. But yeah, th I like this place. Now I'm going to go on to the next one. So this was the Catholic town. Now I'm going to go to Sovereign Town, which is the Puritan slash Congregationalist town. Everyone forgets the Congregationalists. Congregationalists are, um, they are Calvinists who baptize babies. So they're, but they're not Presbyterians because they have a Congregationalist government structure, not a Presbyterian one. And there are these really cool Congregationalist churches in, in this town that I've been to before. But I'm here to look at their university. Now, I don't think it's finished yet, but it's my fault because I didn't give the builder of this university enough advance notice. I gave everyone a week to build, but I gave this person like a few days. But really, it's supposed to be modeled after Harvard, I think. And it was Puritan Congregationalists in New England who founded Harvard. So yeah, this is called Massachusetts Hall of, Massachusetts Hall of Harvard, the Puritan University. And was this... Uh, oh, the, the, there's a Hindu temple over there, but that's from before this server was a Christian server, so it's okay. And yeah, this is the sign for the town that I made saying Sovereign Town. Just, just what I set up when I set up the town. Okay, so you can see it's still a bit of a work in progress, but they still have a nice fountain. They've done really impressive progress in the last few days. Okay, please do me a favor and ignore the elephant in the room. Uh, I, I would have maybe ignored it if there wasn't a sign there, but it's, it's kind of like saying don't think about pink elephants. Um, yeah, like that trick never works. Um, anyway, so this, I know that this is a work in progress. There's going to be more built, but right now I'm going to say this wins in the category of historical significance because my number one example of Christians building universities to the glory of God is always Harvard. That's just always the first one I list. So this is the best in terms of historical significance. Now I'm going to go to Ravinia, which is the, the main Lutheran city. There's a few Lutheran cities on this server because I have a lot of Lutherans here, but this is the biggest one. Okay, someone asked which one is Zoomer at. Okay, once this stops lagging, I'm going to say... Um, I'm going to say I'm at Ravinia. So yeah, Ravinia is the Lutheran city slash kingdom. And yes, so Ravinia is absolutely beautiful because I think Ravinia has the best churches. There's a ton of great churches, but Ravinia has like the greatest concentration of them. I mean, look at some of these. These are like, it's a cathedral on every corner in, in here. Those Lutherans really know what they're doing. I say this as a Presbyterian. The relationship between Presbyterians and Lutherans is that we like them, but they don't like us. Okay, looks like this is the university up here. So I'm going to check it out. Uh, I also want to show you guys this. This is the Great Cathedral of Ravinia. There's a ton of great churches, but this one is... I specially allocated a lot of land for this to be built. It's absolutely enormous, and it looks really awesome. But I'm not going to tour the cathedral. I'm just going to show you guys briefly what it is. Again, everything here is built in survival. This is a survival server. Ow, I fell. Okay. But I guess this is the entrance to the university. So let me go inside. Okay, this is very detailed. Lots of attention to detail. There's a fountain here. Uh, no pennies at the bottom of the fountain. Okay. Church for the griefed. Um, is th I guess this is a, a church for, like, in memories, a, a memory of buildings that have been griefed on this server. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it's not done yet, but I can tell based on how part of it looks that it's going to look cool when it's finished. But, you know, I was here to evaluate the university, not the churches. So, um, this is MLU. I guess that's the name of the university. What does it stand for? And there's a there's banners that say Sola Fide up there. I, I think I saw someone... And this is the builder. Hello, I'm going to give him some uh, I'm gonna give him some potatoes. I'm going to say, nice work. Um, wait, did, did you see the potatoes that I gave him? Uh, okay, okay. Um, let me try again. Hey, I'm gonna give, I'm giving you potatoes. Take my, okay. Okay, uh, this says Sola Fide, which is one of the five solas of the, the, of the Reformation. I thought I saw something else out here. Does it say, yeah, is this another one of the five solas? Uh, yes, this says Sol, Sola Scriptura. So I guess they have all the five solas here in, in some place. Okay, so this is MLU, um, built by this guy, apparently. This is Martin Luther University of Virginia. Okay, that's what MLU stands for. This is Martin Luther University. Now let's check it out. Okay, this place, there's a lot of design. They even use the Lutheran colors, yellow and blue. The, this is the Student Service Center. 
Okay, I like the attention to detail. Like, the, the floors are checkered, the carpeting is blue. They have really nice walls. So that, that's, that looks cool. This is the Lecture Hall B. Okay, yeah, really good attention to detail. So far, I think this is winning, but let me look at more of it first. Um, this is administration authorized personnel only. Guess what? I don't care. I own this server. Deal with it. Okay, so what's in here? Oh, nice. And, um, okay, I guess I don't really need to be in here. I shouldn't trespass. Okay, this is an lecture hall A. It's probably the same, but still cool. It's good to have symmetry. And this is the library. Okay, are, are these books labeled? No, once again, as, as, as far as I know, this could all be the, the Book of Mormon or Love Wins by Rob Bell. So, I mean, it's cool they have a library. It's good to read. Um, I hope it's Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I hope they have that there. But, you know, uh, if it's not labeled, I don't know what book it is because, you know, I, I, I can't read. Anyway, this is Melanchthon Hall. Okay, that's cool. They're naming it after Philip Melanchthon, one of the biggest Lutheran reformers. Uh, some Lutherans think he was like a traitor or something. Some Lutherans don't like him because he leaned a bit too Calvinist. But since I'm a Calvinist, I think that's cool. Um, this is Seminar Room 4. Nice. Uh, this is Seminar Room 3. Also nice. Seminar Room. You get the idea. Seminar Room 1. And what's in here? This is uh, Apologetics Prof. William Lane Craig. Now, he doesn't have the best theology, but he's done a lot of good work, I guess. Ethics Professor Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Okay, now that is really important. You know, my church, the PCUSA, actually has a confession partially written by Dietrich Bonhoeffer, the, the, bar, the Barman Declaration. In memory of Dietrich Bonhoeffer, it says, By gentle powers, rounded with patience, will what may, loving surrender, uh, God is with us. God is with us at morning and certainly on the night and every future day. Okay, great. And, okay, this is labeled, finally, books that are labeled, The Cost of Discipleship by Dietrich Bonhoeffer. I'm getting that book. I think my girlfriend's giving it to me. So I'm going to be reading that, that book soon. Okay, what, what does it say? Systematic Theology. Nice. Okay, these books are labeled. Uh, practical Theology. Uh, I, I guess that's a famous Lutheran guy. I, I confess I don't know who that is. And what's in here? Uh, okay, just another hallway. I'm leaving a lot of doors open. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, so I think I did everything here. Is there more stuff to see? Okay, uh, PhD students. Okay, what, what's for the PhD students? I'm loving the attention to detail overall. So is this just like, is this just like dorms, or is there something I'm supposed to be seeing here? Um, I don't know. Are are these the dorms? Oh, what happened? Uh, I think there's I think there's just lag. There's there's too much detail in, in this place. Okay, so overall this was great. There's there's another building over here though. So what's this? This is okay. These are the dorms. Student dormitory. Former orphanage. What happened to the orphans? So uh, the director I guess is like faculty and residents maybe. Lots of dorms. Um, these are nice dorms. They don't smell like weed like most college dorms do. So that's good. I mean it, it is a Christian university. So I, I guess they, they, if if this were a reformed university, they, the dorms would smell like uh, cigars, I guess, because that's the that's the stereotype, especially if you watch conversations with a Calvinist. Um, so yeah, these dorms all look pretty much the same, but that's how dorms are supposed to look. So the I didn't see a dormitory in the other university, so that's that's good attention to de attention to detail. So I'd say this. University, Martin Luther University in Ravinia probably wins when it comes to attention to detail. I think they did a very good job with this. Um, all right, I guess it's off to the next one. The next one is in the city of Genesis, which is the Anglican city. So I'm going to go to Genesis. So we've, we've looked at the uh, Catholic we've looked at the reformed and we've looked at the lutheran i guess puritan counts as reformed there isn't a presbyterian university yet i'm going to be building that myself but i have to do that after i have the contest because it wouldn't be fair if i evaluate my own university but puritan is closest to reformed i guess so yeah this is the anglican city this is genesis and this is historically significant in this minecraft world because this is where basically christianity started in this minecraft world because this server used to be a secular server um, because I used to be a secular person, but the first church I ever built is this one. I built, um, this is First Episcopal Church of Minecraft, established 2017. That's when I converted to Christianity. Now, I was never an Episcopal, but because um, this town, I gave this town to the Anglicans, I decided I would name that church an Episcopal church. Okay, um, 
Okay, apparently someone's saying I forgot to do something. Well, I, I'm busy. Anyway, uh, now once this loads in, I'm going to go to the, to the Anglican University here. I looked at it, it looks pretty cool, but I haven't really explored it. I'm just going to walk amongst these cool little Anglican churches. This is St. Stephen's Episcopal Church, a uh, member of the 5th Episcopalian. So you know how I started my Reconquista of the PCUSA? Uh, there's another group that's trying to reconquista the Episcopal Church and make the Episcopal Church start, you know, actually believing the Bible once again, uh, inspired by the 95 theses that I sent to the PCUSA. So that's it, it's cool to see the reconquista movement uh, taking shape in other denominations because uh, and I'll leave a link to the reconquista discord if you're in the mainline Protestant church and want to get connected with other mainlines. OK, this is St. Christopher's Anglican and Episcopalian University. Um Okay, I see some stained glass. Is that meant to be like the Trinity or something? I don't know exactly. Um, but this is, what does it say? Built by, okay, Zombie Hunter, Big John. And here's Zombie Hunter. He built the university. Okay, I'm going to give him some steak. I'll, I'll give both of these guys some steak, I guess. All right, so now this is the uh, St. Christopher's Anglican and Episcopalian University. Let me look around. Um, some players are sleeping. Okay, room one. Okay. Is this meant to be dorms or, or something? I don't know. What's down here? Am I supposed to be down here? Room five? Okay, are, are these dorms or are these, uh, like, classrooms? Okay, female bathroom, male bathroom. Uh, where's your gender-neutral bathroom? I'm, I'm going to say, um, zombie, where's your gender-neutral Where's your general neutral bathroom? Because this is kind of transphobic, I guess. I'm kidding. <laughs> this is a Christian university. Okay, he says yuck. Good. Okay, uh, they have a nice Episcopalian symbol here. I don't see a rainbow attached to it like you often do, if you're, especially if you're in New York like me. So that's good. We're retaking the Episcopal heritage. Okay, music room. Professor G.A. Crafterman. That's me. Um, I'm going to say I'm the music professor. I am... Mu ah, I can't type today. I am music prof. Yes, I am a music major in college, so it makes sense that I'm the music professor. Okay, I'm ringing the bells, and uh, they have a piano, guys, they have a piano. I'm going to play some, I'm going to play the Genevan Psalter. All right, great, yes. Okay, this university definitely has the best music program. I declare that, I'm um, going to say, um, St. Uh, Christopher's has the, uh, has the best music program. And is this a, is this a cafeteria? I think this is a cafeteria. Okay, and this is Theology Professor. I guess Zombie Hunter over here is the Theology Professor. He's the one who built this. They have a nice uh, TV, nice TV screen, smart board, whatever that's supposed to be. And this, I, I like the design here. This kind of reminds me of, a, of a, a private school where a bunch of Episcopal rich kids might go. But yeah, it has, that, has a very private school type of architectural feel to it. Okay, this is lagging, but this is supposed to be a lecture hall, I guess isn't very good but there's always a lot of people on the server doing a lot of stuff so that makes sense okay so what's over here is this just another lecture hall okay yes I'm, I'm glad that I'm I have a job as a music professor library librarian okay what are these books the shroomland incident okay looks like there was a civil war again on this server that happens all the time though don't worry about it um okay I'm not gonna read this I'm too lazy to read that but this is a really nice looking library. And is there some more stuff up here? Yeah, there's more stuff up here. Okay, what's um, anything here? Okay, uh, I guess th there's this place, Shroomland. I vis visited it a couple episodes ago. It's a town that started in the mining lands and apparently there's a bunch of lore now. There's a ton of lore in this server but uh, I don't have time to cover it all. So I'm just here to cover the universities. So this university is cool and definitely has the best music program. So I'm going to now leave this place and I think there's a, I think there's one more university that I gotta check out and it's the University of Repentin. So I'm going to go to Repentin. Repentin is the Baptist city. Uh, one of the two Baptist cities. There was another one called Cradleville, but it filled up. So now this is Repentin. It's the Baptist city, and you can see that it's... Uh, okay, this, someone's talking about the, the attack of... The book about the attack on Shroom, Shroomtown. Okay, 
this is like a lot of farmland over here. I thought it'd be best to have the Baptist cities near the farming areas of the world because, you know, Baptists are from the American South. I think there's farms in the South. I mean, I'm a New Yorker, so I see it all as just, you know, tractors and rodeos and banjos and I don't know. I guess I should stop being such a stuck-up Yankee. Yeah, all the South and the Midwest and all of Middle America seems the same to me. Because since I'm in New York, I think it's all it's all Texas, it's all Alabama, it's all the same thing. Okay, now I think I'm on the roof of the university. Whoops. All right, this is a really nice entrance. Uh, this is Repentant Theological Seminary. Okay, it's a seminary. This is the nice little Baptist symbol, Baptist colors, a simple cross with a brown background. So yeah, this has the most majestic entrance by far. It reminds me a lot of Southern style buildings. Okay, this is the library, and finally, the books are labeled. Finally, okay, eschatology, soteriology, Mormonism and other heretical groups, apostasy, and eternal security. Yes, if they're Baptists, they have to believe in eternal security. Why infant baptism, su why infant baptism stinks? Hey, infant baptism is based. Come on, guys. I'll forgive them. They're Baptists. They don't know any better. Evidential apologetics. Classical apologetics, presuppositional apologetics, charismatic versus cessationism. Okay, this is very refuting Catholicism for dummies. Um, yeah, you can tell they're very Baptist and they're not afraid to hide it, but that's good. That's good. Dispensationalism and other hermeneutics. They should really adopt covenant theology, but if they're Baptist, they never will. Calvinism and Arminianism. I know Baptists have like their own form of covenant theology called 1689 Federalism, but as a Presbyterian, I don't think that's good enough. I think you just have to become Presbyterian. Anyway, hey, if they're expressing their opinions here, so can I. Second hall, what's in, what's in here? Janitor's closet. Hey, they have a nice mop. Cool. Um, they have a nice mop and a bucket. Bathroom. Okay, is, is this a gender-neutral bathroom? How is it that the Baptists have a gender-neutral bathroom, but the Episcopalians didn't? That doesn't make sense to me. And security. Wow, this is nice. They had a really convincing computer design. This is vanilla Minecraft. Can I play Minecraft on this computer? Um, ah, the door closed on me. The door knows that I'm a Presbyterian and the door is Baptist. Okay, storage. Uh, there's nothing in the storage. Okay, first hall. Okay, now what's up here? I guess these are just lecture halls. Um, a lot of Baptist banners over here. What's this book? This is, um, this is Genesis 1, I think, based on how this is. Uh, yeah, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I'm sure the, whatever lecture is being preached today is about young earth creationism, if this is a Baptist place. But this is still a really nicely designed lecture hall. I'm going to say that the Baptists have the best library. Uh, they definitely win in terms of that. So now, are there any universities that I forgot? I don't think there are. So, um, I'm going to I'm gonna give the final tally. So, I think the Baptist University, the University of Repentant here, has the best library. So they win in that category. I think the... Uh, I think the St. Christopher's University, the Episcopal one, has the best music program because I'm the music professor. Just kidding. It's really because they're the only one with any music program. So they win in terms of the best music program. I think the uh, Lutheran University, the Martin Luther University, definitely has the best attention to detail. I think the Puritan University, the, the Harvard replica, has the most historical significance. And I think the Catholic University... I just think it has the most cool stuff. And that that's also what I like about the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church has a lot of cool stuff. But overall, I'm not here to say everyone's a winner. I'm not part of the trophy generation. I mean, I kind of am. But this is not everyone gets a trophy. I said what I liked about every, all of them, but there is definitely a winner. And I kind of already indicated this, but the winner is the, the Martin Luther University in Ravinia. I have to admit it. Everything in this town, Ravinia, is just so excellently designed. So I'm going to say... And the winner is Martin Luther University. But I, yeah, I like stuff about all of them. But this one was really, this one was really good. Biased? How am I biased? How am I biased? Okay, I misspelled that. But I'm kidding. I know they all had fun. I'll be giving all of the builders their own private island as a reward for participating. Yes, I know I'm falling to the whole participation trophy stuff, but I don't really care. There still was a winner, so that's the end of this competition, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.